think that was about right. Okay, so first of all, shockingly, we are not in OpenD. Um, the original Emmylou version is in OpenD, but this is in standard tuning. Um, so in standard tuning, the intro, um, I think the first chord is just the first finger on the third fret of the second string. And then the second finger hammers on to the fourth fret on the fourth string. Um, I think along with the third finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So you have this like... goes between those two. Um, and then you have this chord. Now notice I just played it without my thumb. I was playing it with my thumb. The main reason to play it with your thumb is when you listen to the song, this note is always ringing out. So when you're going between... You know, it's you can't really get between this chord and this chord without your thumb. There's ways you can do it, but the thumb makes things easier. But I'll show it to you both ways. So, so, so this chord um, without the thumb is first finger on the third fret of the sixth string, second finger on third fret of the second string, and third finger on fourth fret of the fourth string. With thumb, it's thumb on the third fret of the sixth string. First finger just can stay on the third fret of the B string, and second finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And it's there, and then it sort of does this again. It's, and then you're into the song. It's kind of confusing that intro. It's like. So, um, uh, and then the verse chords, I'll just show you the verse chords and then we'll talk about the picking. So the verse chords is this, this one, a G, either with your thumb or with your first finger on the third fret of the uh, low E. So first finger on the third fret of the low E, second finger on the third fret of the B, second string, third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string D. Or thumb on the third fret of the low E, first finger on the third fret of the B, second string, uh, third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. So it goes back to that. Then there's a chord, it's either this or maybe this, but I'll show it to you like this. This is how I played it. First finger still on the uh, third fret of the B, second finger on the fourth fret of the G, third finger on the fifth fret of the low E, pinky on the fifth fret of the A. And what I hear is it goes from this, to this again, to this. Now it could be this, and you're just emphasizing this note, because obviously the fifth fret on the sixth string is the same as the open. But I think it's this. So I think it goes from this chord, to this, to this. So now this is just first finger on the um, third fret of the B, and second finger on the fourth fret of the D. And then the only other chord you have to worry about in the verse is this. It's like an A7 sus4. First finger on the second fret of the fourth string, third finger on the third fret of the second string. And on the second measure, it hammers that on. And then it does that same thing again. It's this little sequence. It's like this chord, this chord, this chord. That, that's how I think it's played. It could be just this to this to this. Again, if you don't want to use your thumb, it's this to this to this. But see, you see, that's the disadvantage. If I, if I do this, I lose this ringing out note while I readjust my fingers. Okay, so now I'll show you the picking. So the picking, right? Okay. I, I, I gotta try again talking about the picking. Okay, so um, you could do it with your thumb index and middle. I did it with thumb and index, which I think is probably how she does it. And you also hear sometimes that it, it sometimes goes into that sort of strumming style, um, which is another reason to do it with these two. But here's the basic pattern that, that will get you through the whole thing if you, if you try. So um, you got uh, the thumb going between either the six or the five, uh, depending on the chord, and the four. So either the low E and the A and the D. And then your index going two, three, two. 
B, G, B. So let's say you have a chord like this one that has a low note on the low E string. Then the picking pattern becomes six, four, two, wait. Six, four, two, three, four, two. Six, four, two, three, four, two. You can just practice that alone like this. Six, four, two, three, four, two. Notice it's a kind of uneven rhythm. And then sometimes it's five, four, two, three, four, two. Five, four, two, three, four, two. Or six, four, two, three, four, two. E, D, B, G, D, B. Or A, D, B, G, D, B. Um, and, and the thumb can also be a bit strummy sometimes. Sometimes when I was playing this chord, I kind of went like this. Like a now sometimes this pattern gets interrupted and sometimes the thumb goes to the four where it would otherwise go to the five or six. So I'll give you an example. Like when I'm on this, on this one, it sometimes goes. So then it's like five, four, two, three, four, two, four, four, two. Maybe it even goes like four, three, two, three, four, two. But any kind of motion you get going with that. So otherwise, so let me show you like slow motion in the verse, for instance, right? So I'm like, uh, there's a Intro is a little different too. It's like weird. It's it's. Um, but you know, it depends how much that matters to you. But I think it starts by being five and three together, thumb and index together. Then, then the rest is kind of the same. Four two three four two. And then on this one, my thumb is playing the D string and doing that hammering on the second finger on the fourth fret. So. So there I did like four, um, four, five, two, three, four, two. So sometimes, in other words, when the thumb starts with the four, it then goes back down to the five or six. It can it can do that. Um, um, you know, uh, so you know. But now this is that regular pattern. Six, four, two, three, four, two, E, D, B, G, D, B. I'm going to do one more time slow motion the whole verse. So it goes four times through that, and then there's the kind of bridge, which is like really similar to a to a verse, but a little different. Um, 
So what's different is this one starts on this chord, then goes to that G for one, two, three, two bars on that. Then there's two bars on this. And then that sequence we're used to of going from that to that to that. Now the rest is kind of like a verse. And then the only other thing that's different is now it stays on this. It stays on this for four bars. Before it goes back into the verse. Then I think it does two more verses and then there's a sort of ending that's a little differently different. Um, uh, I should say also about this hammer on that it happens sometimes on other chords. So you might be in this G and sometimes go. Or sometimes on this D. So you can throw that into your pattern. Um, last verse ends with it's in this, it's when it gets to this A7 sus. Now it does this. Hammer on the second fret on the fifth string. So you're on this, hammer on that, hammer on this, I think, the second, is it hammered on? Or I might just play the second fret on the low E string. Um, so you're on, so this is where you would normally be on this for four bars, the A7 sus4. Now instead, hammer on the second fret of the A string, then just play the second fret on the E string. Then you're into your, this old friend, G but it, it alternates between this and the second fret on the A string. So your first one, you're just gonna move between the third fret on the low E string and the second fret on the A string. It does that twice. And then it just ends on this chord. The first finger on the third fret of the uh, B, second finger on the fourth fret of the D, third finger on the fifth fret of the low E, and pinky on the uh, fifth fret of the A. Okay, I'm going to attach like a tab, chord, chord diagram, something to help you, because I know I went quickly through some stuff that could be confusing, but hopefully that gets you where you want to be with that song. And um, let me know if you have any questions, and thank you so much for watching.